I present today the seventh revolutionary of Bharat, Bina Das. Das was a member of the Mahila Rashtriya Sangha. In February 1932, she was just 21 years old when she attempted to assassinate the Bengal governor Stanley Jackson to avenge the torture of convicts. In her confession, she said, My object was to die, and if to die, to die nobly, fighting against this despotic system of government which has kept my country in perpetual subjection to its infinite shame and endless suffering. I have been thinking, is life worth living in an India so subjected to wrong and continually groaning under the tyranny of a foreign government? Or is it not better to make one's supreme protest against it by offering one's life away? Would not the immolation of a daughter of India and of a son of England awaken India to the sin of its acquiescence, to its continued state of subjection, and England to the iniquities of its proceedings? Das was imprisoned and served nine years of hard labour for her act. Later, she led a lonely life in Rishikesh and died in anonymity. Her dead body was said to have been recovered from the roadside on 26 December 1986 in a partially decomposed state.